Good Sunday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on out there. So taking a regional look at the radar, you can see we've got high pressure in place uh, over the Carolinas. It's keeping us nice and dry for now. That will change over the next few hours as we've got this low pressure system uh, or this cold front low pressure system that's making its way east. As it does, it's going to pull moisture in from the southwest of us. You saw this moisture right here. It's going to start to funnel that moisture this way. And the good news is, is we're not going to get a lot out of it, but we are definitely going to get some rain uh, during the overnight hours. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. We'll turn the model data on in just a moment for you and see what's going on there. But we are certainly going to see uh, as we move through the overnight hours, some rain moving into the county. Let's go ahead and turn off some of this data here and we'll get back in closer to home now and uh, Pull up the model or yeah we'll pull up the model data so you can see what's going to happen here in terms of over the next couple of hours and and during the overnight so we'll get this loaded up here for you it'll take just a moment to load it and you'll see so this is uh pulling up for for the overnight hours we're going to go hour by hour here this is uh, as of 10 30 a.m this morning you see we're nice and dry as we head into the afternoon, continuing to stay dry. Rain starting to move in uh, into the evening hours uh, to the southwest corner of North Carolina. And we'll, we'll go ahead and get closer into home again now. So we can just pull up and you can see all the little cities that we have here in Rowan County and towns and all that. So you can see where the rain may be as it moves through. So you do see the chance for some isolated showers around 7.45 p.m. around China Grove and Salisbury. I think the air might still be a little bit too dry for that, so we'll see, but uh, you know, it's around 8 o'clock this, this evening. As we head to almost 9, some more rain making its way in. It is possible we do see some rain starting to reach the ground in some areas like Cleveland where the rain's going to be a little bit heavier. Again, the air's going to be dry from that high pressure as it pulls out, so it's going to take just a little while to, to get the air uh you know, moist so that the rain can reach the ground. This is now going on 9.48 p.m. And you see rain still starting to try to make its way into the county. We could see some light sprinkles, not going to rule it out. By almost 11 tonight, I think that's where we're going to see the rain really start to make its way into the county. And again, not expecting a lot of rain out of this. As you can see, it looks like very light showers, China Grove, Rockwell, Salisbury, areas in between there. As we head to uh, 11.41, close to midnight, you see Cleveland, Salisbury, China Grove, Rockwell, places really starting to get some rain moving in. As we head to uh, almost 1 a.m. in the morning, you see things are kind of isolated. 2 a.m., uh, things continue to be almost isolated. This is going on close to 3 a.m. Uh, you see some pockets of moderate rainfall moving through the county, especially around Rockwell, up towards Spencer, places like that. As we head to close to 4 a.m., Rockwell continue to get some decent rainfall, but again, going to be kind of moderate, not going to be a lot going on there. Uh, going on uh, close to 5 a.m., Rockwell continuing to see pockets of heavy rainfall moving through by almost, uh, oh, this is around 5.30 a.m. in the morning. You see the rain start to kind of uh, dry back out, lighten up quite a bit, uh, Salisbury, Rockwell. And then as we head into uh, 6.30 in the morning, looking at a little bit of rain lingering uh, probably around the Gold Hill area uh, as we head into the uh, early morning hours on Monday. And so we'll continue to keep the model data going here for just a moment so you can see where our next uh, hour takes us. And you can see still some isolated showers lingering around uh, by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. And they'll start to pull out and, and we'll dry back out on Monday. The conditions will be much colder though as we go through the day on Monday and Tuesday. And it's going to be because of that uh, low pressure system, that cold front that'll be moving through the area. Let's go ahead and take a look at the current temperatures outside right now around the county. And these are about 15 degrees cooler than they were this time yesterday. East Spencer, 27 degrees. Salisbury, 27. Cleveland, 27. China Grove in at 30. Enochville in at 30. Um, areas out toward uh, the eastern part of the county in at 28. And some 28s down toward the southern part of the county as well. The weather impacts are sponsored by Patterson Farms Incorporated. The greenhouse is open and it'll be open until December the 23rd, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 noon, and they're closed on Sundays. You can head out there and get your Christmas poinsettias, any other type plants that you utilize to decorate your home around the holiday season, and they'll certainly keep you uh, 
updated on what's going on out there. You can visit their website through ours at rowancountyweather.com. Click on the Patterson Farms Incorporated banner at the top of the homepage. It'll take you directly over there. Information on some fundraising they've got going on and different things like that. We'll see sunny skies during the day today. Winds will be out of the south, southwest at around six miles per hour. We'll see increasing cloudiness with a chance of rain during the overnight hours. Uh, looking at, you know, really about a 40% chance because, again, the air is going to be dry. So some of this rain at the beginning is going to have a hard time uh, making its way to us as we go through the overnight. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website at www.sasloop.com. Mention that you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. Today, we'll see sunny skies high at 53 degrees. Uh, and we've got a uh, increasing cloudiness as we head through the evening hours, a low of 38 on Monday, we'll see rain chances uh, during the morning hours, but they'll start to come to an end uh, as we go through the early morning. 30% chance of rain, isolated showers at best. We'll see a high of 48, and we'll see mostly clear skies on Monday evening with a low of 27. On Tuesday, we'll see sunny skies, high of 47, a low of 25 under clear skies Tuesday evening. On Wednesday, we'll see sunny skies with a high of 51, mostly clear skies Wednesday evening with a low of 31. And then we've got our, our next warm front that'll be coming through. It'll get us up to right at 60 degrees on Thursday. We'll see sunny skies with a high of 34 with mostly clear skies Thursday evening. And we'll certainly keep you updated uh, because Friday looks to be right around 60 degrees as well before we start cooling back down once again. Remember to visit local this holiday season. Our friends at Euro Ann have all the details on everything going on uh, from events to sales, all kinds of things going on around the county for the holiday season. You can get to their website by visiting rowancountyweather.com. Go to the forecast tab and right beside of the five day forecast, you'll see the visit local graphic. Click on that. It'll take you directly to their website where you can get all the details of the ins and outs going on around Rowan County during this holiday season. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit our website, rowancountyweather.com, or you can follow us on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you know someone who doesn't have the internet or utilize social media, but they've got cable television, we are on WSRG TV in Salisbury. That is available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16, and we'll keep you updated there as well. We'll provide updates as we get into the evening hours on the, on the rain and where it might be, and we'll keep you updated on that. For now, enjoy your Sunday, and as always, thank you for following Rowan County Weather.